season. A real physical specimen and has a lot of help on offense, including his quarterback, Trace McSorley, and tight end, Mike Gesicki. Penn State, 11-3 a season ago. College football presented by Walmart kicks off after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Drama major, but he gets off a much better punt this time, Rod. Back to the 39. For the rest of us, can we just say after? Yeah, yeah. This is real. This isn't an act. Tompkins on the return. Tompkins. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Darius Smith with that speed. He goes up top here. And intercepted by Ori Waria. Talk about man to man coverage. And it's beautiful. First and 10, Penn State. Barkley with a gaping hole. And the gate is open. Saquon, say gone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Sometimes it's about Barkley, sometimes it's the offensive line. Look at that. That huge hole. This is just track meet, and for his part, you can forget about that. <laughs> you're talking about a 4-3-4-4 guy you're not going to catch at 230 pounds. He came close to stepping out of bounds there. And this one is over. Penn State with an emphatic, impressive 52 to nothing trouncing of Akron in their season opener. And James Franklin has a lot of tools in the box this year as they move forward next week. Looks like and sounds like. For over a century, Penn State and Pitt made up one of college football's great rivalries. It was put to rest for 16 years, but thankfully brought back last season with a classic. Now they go at it again. The in-state rivals on the home turf of one of the top teams in the land. First and goal after the turnover as Barkley comes back into the backfield. Quick pass, quick score. Mike Gasicki from Trace McSorley. Stars in check. McSorley with time over the middle. Saquon Barkley. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. I guess not long was the answer. He's going to slip right out and run right by Brightwell, the linebacker. There's no safety help in this coverage. He's the number three receiver to the field. That means it's a tough matchup for a linebacker. Barkley lowers the shoulder and lowers the boom right into the end zone. This is it right here. Power. The ability to run through tacklers and take that ball into the end zone. Pin that punt for Penn State. Is that a safety? Mighty close. Yep. Yes, it is. The Penn State defense. Marcus Allen, his 11th tackle of the game, and scored two with it. Now, unlike a touchdown, the ball. Allen, the right tackle, Jared Jones Smith not able to get a piece of him. And that's what Marcus Allen does. You know, as a safety, and he's played a lot of ball here, zero career interceptions, but he is a big time tackler and two more points for the Nittany Lions. To the Q quotient, we had a lot of guys with the Q out there as Penn State will take it 33 to 14. Pitt had the two cues of Quadre and Quadre, Olison and Henderson. Needed big days out of them. Needed big sparks to stay with Penn State. But the other cues, Saquon, Bar Saquon Barkley, went for 133 total yards and two touchdowns.
He makes it third and 12. McSorley throwing back to the left to Barkley. Look out! Saquon Barkley! Can he go the distance? Yes, he can! Touchdown, Penn State! Coach. How do you defend that? I don't have any idea. I told you number 26 was good. <laughs> wow. Georgia State had every. That puts the Panthers behind the sticks. Takes a give to Bateman. Intercepted by Marcus Allen. from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, Marcus Allen. Yeah, he's coaching up on the side. Watch this right here. He sees something, he goes to throw it. No! You got, you got to get a linebacker in your way. Then Marcus Allen says, hey, listen, we got skill on offense. We got skill on defense, too. Look at this. Man, he looks like a ball carrier here. Second interception for Manning of this game. What do you think? Shot yeah, for the end let's zone? Go, let's go. the stadium rocks to ACDC's back in black. The Hawkeyes take their home field. Folks have convened here in Iowa City from all corners of this state and the faithful filled with belief that the Hawkeyes can spring another one of their patented upsets over favorite Penn State. Stick around. Should be a lot of fun. It usually is in Kinnick Stadium. This has been the Nissan pregame rush. The red zone utility so far for Penn State. Option looks Barkley. Penn State diving. Eight down shut out short of the goal line. Kind of they keep touch that. Excuse me, a delayed I signal. I thought the they were going to spot him short, but Saquon Barkley is Penn State final. Next early from the pocket on third and six. Flips it backwards to Barkley. Hurdles a man and makes a first down. What did you say before, Superman? <laughs> Come on. It's like he, he jumped only, right over. It was the dude. only thing that was left for him to do. <laughs> I mean, that was it. What else is there? By the way, he takes a hit and lands. <laughs> he lands it. Not only does he go over Jackson, Amani. Lions crowd the line, but Wadley's got a crease. Akram Wadley. Bye bye. Iowa takes the lead. Takes just a minute chance to rally Penn State from behind by four from the pocket. McSorley flips it short. Gets made by Jawan Johnson, who breaks free first down across the 30. Again, ball batted down at the line. And, and get away and get some separation. McSorley trying to escape, drops way back. And just heaves it into the bench. Low snap. 
McSorley steps up, delivers. Barkley dragged down short of the first down by Josie Jewell. One more chapter in that duel tonight. And a timeout. Franklin will spend it with 58 seconds. A scrimmage. McSorley to throw. Caught. First down. Saeed Blacknell in traffic. And the Lions have life at the 46. How about them? 45 seconds. From the pocket, McSorley escapes and has a lot of room and slides down first down yardage. They'll stop the clock briefly at the 42. Get it to go. They save the timeout. Inside of 30 seconds, McSorley looking to escape again. Flips it downfield and is caught. Johnson got behind the defender, shoved out at the 24. McSorley flips it at the last minute. Barkley still running and scoots out of bounds at the 10. Made a man miss 15 seconds to play. Got away from Jewel that time. Ten goal. Throwing the far sidelines. Gesicki makes a catch. They use four set. McSorley has time. Flips it near side. No chance to make a play. Tompkins very well covered by Ragumba. Seven seconds to go. Look back. Batted down for the sixth time tonight. The Hawkeyes get a hand on it. It's Anthony Nelson. Four seconds down to one play. McSorley across the middle. Touchdown! Jawan Johnson. Penn State wins it. A walk-off touchdown. Wow, an 80-yard drive in 12 plays, a minute 42. And Trace McSorley, cool on that final drive. This, I said, which receiver would eventually come up with the play? He works to the inside, a little outside move, and is able to get to the uh, into the inside of the defensive back. Ball is thrown on time, over the top of 27 hookers somehow. For the touchdown. And by the way, you know what Saquon Barkley did on that play? Picked up a blitz. Picked up a blitz to be unselfish. We thought he might get the ball. Instead, he picks up the blitz to help his quarterback have more time. It's a victory formation and a punt into the sky by McSorley. And a frustrated night for McSorley. He had an interception. He had a fumble. Hadn't been a touchdown pass all night, but does so for the 19th consecutive game in his last chance to do it. Just an incredible game. Again, watch Barkley. He picked right there. He is. He picks up the blitz. How this ball gets over top of Hooker, 27, just gets over him into the hands of Jawan Johnson, who had beaten his man. Penn State, Indiana, week five of the college football season, a Big Ten battle in Happy Valley, getting ready to invade your living room next. The sun has come out, like we said, but the wind is whipping. Barkley going to be able to return it. Saquon Barkley right off the bat. It's a foot race. Barkley's going to go. And just like that, we saw J.T. Spielman take a 99 kickoff return against uh, for, for Nebraska. Dumping it out to Berkeley. Wow, he is so electric. Just making people miss everywhere. You know, I, I can't help but laugh, but it's not funny. I mean, Indiana was in good shape there, and he put the brakes on. And then he accelerated from zero to 60, like in a second. Watch this. Brakes on, and here I go. Now you see me, now you don't. And the first guy, very. 
that close to where you're from? Here no. goes Barkley. Oh, Barkley's going to throw it! Ah! Saquon <laughs> Barkley! As they put a new wrinkle into the offense, he finds Deshaun Hamilton, and Hamilton has the hat trick, his third touchdown of the game. Barkley. Well, well, let's see. He runs it. He catches it. He returns it. And now he passes it. Barkley's saying, open up line one and get the Heisman Trophy engraver on the line. I want to make sure he knows how to spell my name correctly. That was a jump pass, by the way. Aside from the turnovers in this game, is all the injuries they've had to deal with, is that's going to be the last play in this one. And there's no letdown after the Iowa victory for James Franklin and company as they cruise past the Hoosiers 45 to 14 at Beaver Stadium. Thorson throws a jump ball. The 50-50 ball is won by Penn State. Interception. Amani Oruweria able to make the pick. His third of the season. That's just that's not what you want to do, right? You give yourself a chance to get points on your first drive. This is a hope throw. And I understand there's some 50-50 balls. There's a difference between a 50-50 ball and a hope throw. That that play never had a chance. Thorson was hit as he released. It goes as an interception. They convert the fourth and eight. He is a backup quarterback with McSorley out there and Barkley. And they're throwing and they're completing for a touchdown. touchdown. That's Stevens out of the backfield. Trace McSorley to his backup quarterback, Tommy Stevens, for the touchdown. For James Franklin, they win that game in overtime. If they don't win that one, it would have gone two and three. Here's Barkley looking to break one down the sideline. The run we've all been waiting for. Saquon Barkley, touchdown. 53 yards when his previous long had been eight. His grades on, on Saquon Barkley, right? Let's take a look at some of these things. The jump cut is what really stands out to me. That cut right there and then the acceleration. It's almost like the feet of a Barry Sanders and vision and then that acceleration and speed and power of an Adrian Peterson. And then the last piece for me is Marcus Allen hands right out of the backfield and you put all those things together man. This guy is really special. Coach at Northwestern had a great game plan and executed it in terms of taking uh, Saquon Barkley out of the game. I'm impressed with you with, with how Trace McSorley played and how, how you responded offensively. Yeah, played really well. I mean, first of all, is our defense played lights out. You know, basically played shutout football for four quarters until we got the backups in there. Um, you know, obviously, everybody's game plan each week is to overload the box and create one-on-ones on the edge, and we got enough players to do that, and, and, and Trace knows how to operate the offense. So that's where, that's where we can be difficult to defend. We still got to get better at the running game, though. You get the week off, and then obviously the schedule keeps getting tougher and tougher in the Big Ten. What are the points of emphasis or areas you're going to keep working on and improve to take this team to another level? For us, we're going to enjoy this win, uh, this one, and then we'll worry about the next ones when they come. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. We are. Fight on. <laughs> in 30 years, Big I've been bowling. with game day. Yep. Yeah. I've only put the Penn State helmet on. Three times. Yeah. Three yeah. times. And I, yeah. if I remember, you're, you're two and one yeah. overall. But the last time you put the, the, the lion on, yeah. I think you lost. Yeah. I really don't want to be wrong again. You, you, you're going to go with the maize and blue? Don't do Listen, it, Coach. They beat him by 39 last year. That's true. Why don't you do true. it? Go, that go is with true. it. They did. Go, you're going to show they courage? Did. There you go. Ooh. You're going to show courage? Yeah. yeah. I really, I really like to pick them. Yeah, yeah, I know you would. <laughs> There's yeah. a, it's your team. Yeah. Give it <laughs> going with Penn State. Started the morning surfing this wide-out crowd. Old main lawn and ends it by putting on the Nittany Lion head. That's just for you, the winged helmet. What a great morning here in State College. Great game tonight with Michigan and Penn State on ABC. Ready now for Louisville and Florida State. Jonesy, Rod Gilmore, take it away, fellas. And welcome back to Happy Valley. Pre-game fireworks, 106,000 strong, all dressed in white for this annual display of support for the Nittany Lions. 
crowd that is proactive, disruptive, and persuasive. Saquon Barkley got a look at this four years ago and decided Penn State was the place for him. It started with those students and spread to the entire stadium. A special night on the annual college football calendar. James Franklin very upbeat about this team where they are right now positioned at number two their highest ranking since 1999 strong favorites tonight against a team that embarrassed them a year ago and Michigan the last road team to win in this building with all their season goals on the line Buckle up. This will be fun. It's been the Nissan pregame rush. Kickoff coming up. But first to look inside Nissan's Heisman House. Ten. Barkley. Off and running. Saquon Barkley. Say bye-bye. Touchdown, Penn State. See on a wrinkle as Barkley took the direct snap and raced to the end zone. He does not lose foot races. Not to go back to this. You can see Barkley's lined up here. You're going to get the cornerback who's going to go to almost play the, the running back role and watch the guard as he pulls. It's going to move the Michigan linebackers with Steven Gonzalez. See how Tim Bush moves with him? And there's the vision as a natural running back that Saquon Barkley brings to the table. Michigan had him walled off on the play side, cuts it back, and has the speed to take it to the house. Jumbo had a very creative play caller. We mentioned that Penn State had a bye week because it's... Barkley again motioning back in. It's an option look. They pitch it to him. Block on the edge. Saquon Barkley turns the corner and scores again. to make an impact as a senior on this football team. McSorley, downfield. Oh, Saquon touchdown on the juggle. Barkley's third touchdown tonight was almost his second big drop of the night. <laughs> he made it look difficult. 42 yards for the score. What a long night for Mike McCray. He, he, boy, <laughs> he brings it in. Mike McCray in the slot. Snap this one more time. They do. Sanders will be tackled for a loss. Play that didn't need to run. That'll be interesting as uh, Harbaugh has to shake the hands of James Franklin. 42 13. This might be a quick one. McSorley counts for three touchdowns. Saquon Barkley runs for two and catches a pass. Strengthens his Heisman case. Short exchange, all the best, said Frank. It's all about crunch time and taking full advantage of that. The Penn State right now, this is where you need to turn this momentum around. And although we were going through adversity as a team, we all stuck together. Kick it up, it's blocked, picked up by Haley. Touchdown, Penn State, and the Nittany Lions electrifying Beaver State. Once in a lifetime feeling definitely made the impossible possible. One play, one moment that changed Penn State's entire season. Penn State wins the Big Ten What a difference a year makes as the roles are reversed in Columbus and the hunted become the hunters. Fires a straight touchdown. It's a matchup we've all been waiting for. Is revenge a motivator? Down he goes! Oh, yeah, it is. The Heisman contenders. Down, 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 down. 
the rankings. What a spectacular play! A game that will again change the national conversation. Penn State. Ohio State. Now. Alternate jerseys with their LeBron James cleats. And back deep, the dangerous one, Saquon Barkley. Nuremberger will send it away. Ohio State, Penn State, and we're underway from Columbus. Barkley from inside his own five. Barkley with a lead. Barkley with a burst. Barkley down the sideline. Saquon Barkley runs the opening kick. 97 yards. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. No flags. Special teams has been a problem for Urban Meyer dating back to last year and all this season. And one of the biggest issues on special teams has been this kickoff unit. Urban Meyer has got to be sick to his stomach. That's the one player that you can't kick the ball to and allow him to return it. And Barkley, Division One against Maryland. The Terps took a kickoff back. This was almost a duplicate of that, taking the ball to the left side of the field. That was the weakest part of this kickoff unit against Maryland, and it remains against Penn State. And once Barkley gets a crease, it is over. He was in the end zone basically when he crossed the 20-yard line on his side of the football. And Urban Meyer has got to be livid right now. That unit is the one that he spends the most time on, the kickoff team. Bill Elliott for the Buckeyes, now Dobbins for the Buckeyes. Near side, they find Paris Campbell, and he lost it. Ball picked up, Penn State, Farmer, down at the 23. So a comedy of errors for Ohio State early on as the Nittany Lions take over deep in Buckeye territory. Well, just great pursuit by this Penn State defense and then the ability to be aggressive once they get on the outside. That was Manny Bowen, number 43 from his linebacker spot. He gets all the way out there, puts his helmet right on the football. It gets coughed up and a great return there from another linebacker, Koa Farmer. And for the second straight week in a massive game, this Penn State team has come out in the opening few minutes Barkley. Barkley breaks it out. Barkley's going to get a block. McSorley in front of him. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. McSorley fires a deep ball down the field. Intercepted. Ohio State. zone with DeAndre Tompkins. Tompkins is pushing off there. The ball looks like it's in Tompkins' hands and then at the end Denzel Ward rips it away once he's on the ground. What an amazing play from Denzel Ward. Either an interception or and a it touchdown. It has to be clear and obvious. After further review, the Penn State player was in pos possession of the ball when he landed on the ground. As a result, it's a Penn State touchdown. Wow! What a play! Barrett. Barrett! Over the middle! Caught! Spreading to the end zone! Johnny D! Touchdown, Buckeyes!
touchdown run in the second. Ohio State has held him to nine yards on 18 carries. And that's it. The Ohio State Buckeyes knock off the number two team in the nation. Led by their spectacular quarterback, JT Barrett. The final score from Columbus, 39-38. The There is a chance of rain throughout the afternoon and actually had some hail here in East Lansing just a few moments ago. Joe Davis, Brady Quinn, and down in the field today, Bruce Feldman. With nobody at the second level, McSorley looks over the top and delivers a strike for Hamilton. He turns the corner for a touchdown. Just like that, the Nittany Lions march at 92 yards to open the scoring. The thing you got to love about it as a former quarterback. Spartans bringing it. McSorley stands in. There's Blackdaw. Fights his way for a first down. And a touchdown. Saeed Blackdaw goes for 27 yards. Not just a first down, but a tie-breaking score. And all the missed tackles from the Michigan State defense. We saw that last week in their loss to Northwest. We talked about them getting tired, getting run down a little bit. In this case, just Blacknall being able to make a play and fighting through tackles to get in the end zone. Drive begins at the 30. McSorley steps into a clean pocket. Heaves one deep with blown coverage. It is a Penn State touchdown. DeAndre Tompkins, a 70-yard home run to put Penn State in front. He's not a thrower. He's a launcher. You're going to see basically a double post concept. And Josiah Scott ends up falling down at the top of this route. And Tompkins is all alone by himself, just has to focus on catching the football, not hitting his head on the goalpost. That's what this offense has really been. A bunch of huge plays and some of the Michigan State defense. Grass on your helmet. Yeah, right. Should get rid of that. Second and ten. Lewerke throwing down the sideline. Davis can't get it. It's brought in by Oruwarie. What an interception by Amani Oruwarie. Penn State bringing the house. Picked up giving Lewerke time. It's knocked out of there. Tariq Castro-Fields pulled it out of the arms of Cody White, and it's fourth down. And it might be a late hit again on Brian Lewerke. Flag is laying in the backfield. Excuse me, the last one was on McSorley, but this one looks like... Personal foul. Wow. Roughing the passer. Drive extended on a critical penalty on Penn State. Here he is. There's Apke. Yeah, it was oh, it's way late. Yeah, it's on Marcus Allen, on number two. Misidentification, but a big time upset. From 34. State's improbable march continues to Columbus. And James Franklin livid about something. And Penn State Rutgers would love to crank up what should be a good rivalry between these two teams. But to do that, they're going to have to get the win here against Penn State. Two opening kickoff returns for touchdowns for Saquon Barkley. As he goes back, Penn State will receive the eighth straight game. The Penn State will receive the opening kickoff. Rutgers winning the toss and electing to defer.
the 22 play action again. McSorl into the air. McSorl into the end zone. Touchdown, Deshaun Hamilton. Third down. Quick toss, then the flip to Barkley. Barkley with a little trickery into the air, and Barkley down to the one. Saquon has no regard for his body. He, just, he, he will just jump over everybody. They flip that thing back to watch this. He sees the end zone, he wants in. Ty Hester on the bottom end, providing the hurdle for Barkley to jump over. It'll end up being a successful but disappointing year. As Penn State gets the victory, James Franklin told us the goal again was 1-0. and oh. So they lost a little bit of the focus, lost a little bit of the individual game focus, became a little too big picture. They brought it back to the team that they're facing. And Rutgers, Rutgers, December 2nd on Fox. Well, Nebraska has won the toss. They've elected to defer. So Drew Brown will kick off. And Brandon Polk is back deep for the Nittany Lions. We're all set. Decision to hand it off to the guy headed for New York City for the ceremony. Runs through the tackle of Dedrick Young. And a great finish. That might be his last carry in Beaver Stadium history. Franklin, something to, to yell at their guys about, certainly leading into next week. And they will come out for the handshakes. That'll do it 56 to 44. It was a much Bigger win for Penn State than the score might indicate. Yeah, big big rec record-setting night for James Franklin. A bunch of guys seeing 23 seniors and a great junior who's not going to play another game at Beaver Stadium at Saquon Barkley. A great redeemed game for him and his chances in New York. Pre-game fire-up speech as the Nittany Lions get set for the final game of the regular season on BTN. 10th-ranked Penn State on the road to take on Maryland. And sorely with Stevens to his left and Sanders to his right. Stevens fakes the give. He'll keep a lot of room to run. Tommy Stevens touchdown! That kid is untapped. Just a sophomore. Limited time, obviously, when you back up Trace McSorley, but gets into the end zone first for Penn State as they march it. McSorley on the keep. Throws for the end zone. <laughs> and a one-handed grab by Mike Gasicki. A spectacular catch. Penn State's tight end. I'd say that's a Big Ten special right there, Kev. Is this what makes Jasicki special? Let's see if he has it all the way through the catch here. There's the stab, there's the control, and that's definitely a catch. A BTN standout play as Mike Gasicki needed just one hand to pull it in. See him there, number 59. To the end zone, diving catch for the touchdown. Tom Pancoast. His first touchdown. And it comes in the final game of the regular season. Tommy Stevens was itching to make a throw. And they split Pancoast out, and then it's a leverage game. It's on Pen. Pankos, it's incumbent upon him to be able to get to the inside and get that defender on your top hips and downs on the year. And we are ready to head into the offseason, as is DJ Durkin.
and Maryland. 66-3. Penn State victorious over Maryland. That's our final day of the game coming up from our Chicago studios with the State Farm post-game report for the final time this season. For Matt Millen, Lisa Byington, our entire terrific BTN crew, I'm Kevin Kugler, saying so long from Maryland. Penn State wins it 66-3. to Mm, How about this one? Nice. The PlayStation mm. Fiesta Bowl on December 30th in the afternoon. Washington, Ooh. playoff team last year that, against Penn State. That defense of Washington against Saquon Barkley mm -hmm. Trace McSorley, that is a great matchup. How yeah. about Washington on defense this year? Remember they lost all those guys last year to the NFL draft? Three guys in the secondary yeah. in the second round, even guys up front. But Vita Vea, oh how physical. They, they can Jeez. control the line of scrimmage with three dudes. And it'll be fun watching the best running back in college football, Saquon Barkley, square off again. Bryce Love got the best of them. Let's see how they do with well, Saquon and, and, Barkley. And, and if you're Saquon Barkley, after four or five games, you were the leading contender for the Heisman Trophy. Then we for, kind of forgot about you. If you are leaving college football, make a statement. Right. Make a statement and let everybody know. Thank you, Reese. It's a beautiful 75-degree day in Glendale, Arizona for the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl at University of Phoenix Stadium. The 10-2 Penn State Nittany Lions ranked ninth in the country, taking on number 11 Washington as the Huskies make their first appearance in the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. Penn State, it's seven time it's been in this event, and it is 6-0. Penn State losing two games this year by a total of four points, top 10 in both offense and defense. Washington, first time in 25 Five years with back-to-back 10-win -back seasons. Dave Pash alongside Greg McElroy, Tong and Luganville in a minute. And Greg, as you look at this matchup, yes, it's not a playoff game, but it's a big game for both of these programs. Once they were championship-type teams, and then they hit that dry spell for different reasons. But under Chris Peterson and James Franklin, they've returned to that championship form, a chance for a big punctuation mark for this season. And then both teams should be great next year too. I think last night's game in the Cotton Bowl was between two conference champions, but I'm not sure it was the Big Ten and the Pac-12 best teams. I think Penn State is the best team in the Big Ten and I think Washington is the most complete team in the Pac-12. Should be a fascinating matchup here in the desert. And Greg, we get to see one of the most dynamic players in college football play likely his last game at Penn State. Throttled by Michigan. A lot of people wondering is James Franklin the right guy? Well, he's proven he is with their resurgence. They've lost three games since by a total of seven points. The Rose Bowl by three last year to SC by one to Ohio State this year and by three to the Spartans. And Penn State is ready for its first Fiesta Bowl in two decades. Year, Penn State won here. Miles Sanders is in the backfield with McSorley on third and long. McSorley throwing a deep ball. Got a man. It's caught at the 20. Deshaun Hamilton breaking a tackle. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Receiving for field. And Barkley gets it into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. Number 17 on the season rushing and number 20 on offense. Nothing lead in what is likely his final college football game. He's not the best in the business for nothing, folks. Saquon Barkley finds Pater yet again with a little helicopter action. Two touchdown lead for the Lions. Scored on earlier. It's the same formation. Into the end zone is Sanders for the Penn State touchdown. The air 
more apparent to Saquon Barkley. Barkley off the left side. Here he goes. Look at the speed. Oh, my goodness. Breaks a tackle. Going to take it to the house. 92 yards. Toying with the defender. Saquon Barkley. Encore. Wow. Probably his final game, but not the last time we'll see that kind of a run. Just a standard inside zone. You're going to see double teams working up, and you're going to see a lot of green grass and movement by this Penn State offensive line. And when you get Saquon Barkley into the second and third level with a full head of steam, good luck. Because he can turn on the Jets as well as anybody. Look at this. Untouched all the way to the end zone and out running a safety. Talked to James Franklin yesterday. He said that when he shows up at the combine, he'll be 230 pounds. He'll jump 40 plus in the vertical. He'll run 4-3 in the 40. He might shatter. Sorley here. Washington bringing pressure. McSorley to throw. Going to take a shot. Receiver is there. Ball is caught. Touchdown, Deshaun Hamilton. Second touchdown of the day for Hamilton. You see Penn State backing way off on fourth and ten. Browning stepping up. Caught. And here's the lateral. He laterals it again, and Penn State's got it. He threw it right to Brandon Smith. He didn't need to do that. There's still five seconds on the clock. That is going to have just gone out of bounds. They could have had a shot to throw a Hail Mary. Instead, he threw it back to the middle of the field where Brandon Smith caught it, and Penn State takes over. Janet feeling that's why Pettis was out there. Here it was, the same play that they ran several years ago, the hook and ladder. And he actually has Gaskin right behind too, so you can treat him like an option pitch if you need it. I think they told him on the sideline, hey, this is the final play of the game. And Pettis just unaware of the situation, thinking that he had to score on that one single play. He makes an ill-advised lateral back to the middle of the field. And that will ice this game for the Nittany Lions. What an incredible ending and what a finish for these two programs. Penn State with an 11 win season. The Nittany Lions, the 2017 PlayStation Fiesta Bowl champions.